There was never any hesitation to Eric Shacklett to be tested as a potential donor for the National Bone Marrow Registry. One day he got the phone call. Eric was a match for someone, but he couldn't help. Eric had just been diagnosed with cancer. Once a native of Texas, Eric would soon realize that hearts are just as big in Wisconsin as his co-workers coordinated a community effort to help him beat this illness. I had been coming here uh, into the um, clinic being treated for a chest cold. And after three weeks and getting sicker and sicker and sicker, um, the doc decided he wanted to do one additional test. Well, he informed me then that I had multiple myeloma. It was very disheartening. Um, I was uh, very active before, spur of the moment, you know, pack up the truck, go fishing, go camping, run around outside with the kids, it's just going out and having fun. Now that has been significantly decreased. The meds make me incredibly tired. I hurt all the time. I first um, became familiar with Eric through work on a project that I was asked to lead. I knew Eric had cancer going into the project. Um, when I first met him, it wasn't something that we talked about or discussed, but over time he started to open up to me about his condition and some of the challenges that he was having. Just working with him daily, I saw how the cancer really um, limited him physically and I could see how he you know somewhat struggled on a day-to-day -day basis we all wanted to do something um, so when he um, told us that he would eventually be looking for a bone marrow donor I thought you know right away that's something that we can do to help him our foundation typically funds equipment to help patients or programs that help patients like our cancer help program so this was a little different in that it was very broad based doing a national registry uh, and that it was employee based it was set to help an employee hopefully find a, a match for themselves well, I think it makes sense. Donation, but I, think I really liked the idea I was yeah. concerned that it was maybe outside the scope yeah. of what our foundation would approve uh, the board members are all though community members and uh, have very warm hearts and I knew that it was something everyone would want to do, uh, including myself. I think that this embraced effort was an amazing tribute to not only the compassion and the care that our that we provide daily to patients and their families, but I think this was an extension of that care and compassion for one of our own employees. Employees at St. Joseph's Hospital in Marshfield are holding a bone marrow drive to help their coworker who's battling cancer. It was just exciting. I got there at 6.30 in the morning and um, the drive started at 7 and we had people waiting at the door, so that was really cool to see. Perfect strangers were coming by. They had uh, read about it in the newspaper and heard about it on the TV and it was great. It did generate enthusiasm and excitement, but I was mostly just glad to see that the room was busy and that people were really coming forth and willing to help Eric and others. With what Christy has done for me for the, for the bone marrow drive, um, that goes way beyond their professionalism. She has an incredibly large heart. Christy definitely uh, went out of her way to help me. Things are very stressful in healthcare these days. We get very wrapped up in our own work. This was a great way for us to show what the sisters and, and ministry's values have always been about, is helping those in need.